Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target Alu today for September 8th. The series that shows you the Target Alu map, farming tips and tricks, and much more, including vendor resets and invaded missions for the week. I'm Agent Shadow, and if you enjoy my content, please consider smashing the subscribe and like buttons below. You can also check the video description for all the named gear and weapon spreadsheets with the DZ exclusives as well that I mentioned in all these videos. Also check out that pinned comment below for the Discord link and how to join the Shadow Crew clan on PC, Xbox, and PS4. And we just reached over 40 members on the PC clan today, so shout out to the PC clan for sure. And remember guys, you can join the PS4 and Xbox clan as well. We got great leaders and I'm the leader on PC. So please join, just comment in the comment section below if you would like to join the Shadow Crew clan today, all right? All right, well, let's get started with the Dark Zones first and the highlights from the Dark Zone vendors, then Washington DC and New York City targeted loot last. So in DZ West, we do have light machine guns and the vendor has death grips with armor, armor on kill and repair skills on sale for I think 152 DZ resources. Remember, you can just go into the dark zone and deconstruct loot and then extract it and you can get the DZ resources. So if you're farming light machine guns, the pestilence drops super easy in the dark zone. So if you need a good pestilence, remember you can grab it in the dark zone today. It will also drop the Bullet King and all the named light machine guns, but there is one named DZ exclusive, which is the Black Friday. I definitely recommend getting it or Good Times named light machine gun. The new Reliable, which I have a build for, and I really, really like that gun. It's an RPK and it reloads in like half a second with Braced. Awesome, awesome LMGs to get today in DZ West. We got Sokolo Concern in DZ South. Now, not much to farm for there, but for the vendor, we do have the Zero Fs chest piece with Perfect Unbreakable. It's rolled with Armor, Armor Region, and Skill Haste. And then Dark Zone East, we got the Night Watcher mask at the DZ vendor. And then of course Alp Summit, you can get the percussive maintenance, but with perfect tech support, but actually, I mean, it doesn't really go well with the Alp Summit first off because it's 20% repair skills and usually you do that on damage builds. But anyway, uh, there's really no named DZ exclusive that's Alp Summit that I can think of. So let's go ahead and move on to the north highlights and the rest of DC. All right, guys. All right, agents. All right. So we're at the north side. We got 511 Tactical at Camp White Oak. Oh, and real quick, I wanted to show the invaded missions this week. We got Camp White Oak. We got Bank HQ. We also got DCD Headquarters. And then the stronghold is Roosevelt Island. The legendary loot is Rifles at Roosevelt Island, Grupo Sumbro at District Union Arena, and Araldo Holdings at Capitol Building Stronghold. Now we got 511 at Camp White Oak. Petrov at the ballpark. So if you're looking for the contractor's gloves with that 8% damage to armor, I definitely recommend getting that. And remember, like I say in all my videos, the contractor's gloves are no longer mandatory on a DPS build. The Fox prayer knee pads are kind of mandatory because that 8% damage to targets out of cover is multiplicative damage. And most targets are out of cover. Not every enemy has health. So, uh, well, armor, I mean, you know, the Warhounds, the Chungas, and then when the NPCs lose the armor. So, they're not mandatory to run unless you have an LMG. So for that LMG, 10% damage. Fenris, of course, for the 10% assault rifle damage that works good on an AR build. I got my favorite one I'll put in the top right hand corner, except for I switched the FAMAS to the military AKM with strained as the talent. And then shotguns over here at Manning National Zoo. You can get the Sweet Dreams exotic shotgun with the Sandman talent where you can one hit any enemy that's not an elite. And then, of course, the top tier shotguns like the custom M870 and, of course, the Marine Super 90, which I really, really like. All right, agents. So we're over here at the west side and I see some stuff over here that maybe you guys might want to farm, but nothing I can really actually say is worth farming for, in my opinion. You could farm Douglas and Harding if there's no mass in the area. And I don't see mass anywhere. I see Douglas and Harding at Aaron Space and over here at Downtown West. You can farm for the Punch Drunk Mask, which has 20% headshot damage baked into it. And of course, Golong Gear at Bank HQ if you want to get that 10% status effects on a four-piece Eclipse Protocol build, that's mandatory. Reroll it for skill tier usually, unless you're running tech, uh, the Technician, which gives you a free skill tier anyway. Overlord at DCD for those Fox's Prayer Knee Pads with that 8% damage to targets out of cover, which you should always roll damage to targets out of cover on all your weapons as well. I do that with mine and I my DPS built it like a truck. And then we got assault rifles at the Potomac Event Center. You can farm for the exotic chameleon, which I also have a build for as well. I can put in the card in the top right right now. 
You can also farm for my favorite, favorite top tier assault rifle, the Military AKM, also the FAMAS, Carbine 7, Police M4s, G36s, and the P416 variants. There's also quite a bit of named assault rifles. You can get the Maniac, which is a named uh, Military AKM, the Burnout, which is a named FAMAS with Perfect on Empty, and then of course the Mechanical Animal, which is uh, has Future Perfection. I love that talent for sure. It gives you overcharge at skill tier six, and I think you can get all the way up to three extra skill tiers with it. And then rifles at Roosevelt Island. You can farm this on Legendary today as well for the max god rolls possible. You can get a good classic M1A or the M1A CQB, which I really enjoy lately with a higher rate of fire and it's easier to aim. The best da damage talents on those is the Boomerang, which is my favorite. Then Ranger would be second and then third. Of course, Rifleman talent if you got good headshot aim. And then the Baker's Dozen with perfect lucky shot. If you're probably on console, you'll like that the most. And then Diamondback and Merciless are the exotics, rifle targeted loot. We also got BTSU gloves at Lincoln Memorial. Well, gloves, but you want to farm them for BTSU gloves for sure. And then you can also farm for the contractor's gloves here. All right, we also got China Light at the West Potomac Park area and Badger Tough at Tidal Basin. So Badger Tough, you can farm for a Zero F's chest piece with Perfect Unbreakable instead of buying it in the vendor this week at DZ South. You could just farm for a better one. Maybe you want armor with all reds like my build has the Shredder build. If not, you can buy this one, or if you just want to try to find a better one that you're going to roll differently than what I just said. And then China Light's great with that explosives damage build. You would mix it with a two-piece group of Sumbro and a demolition spec. Oh, and then there we go. We got masks at the White House area. You can farm for the Coyote's Mask, which gives you that pack instincts talent. Usually you want to go for that 25% damage, 25% uh, crit hit damage, zero to like 15 meters when you hit an enemy. That is definitely something that everyone needs in a group if at least one DPS player is there. It boosts everyone's crit hit damage or both crit hit chance and crit hit damage depending on your distance. You can also refarm the Vile Mask and the Punch Drunk Mask as well with that 20% headshot damage. Alright agents, the final part of Washington DC, the east side. So we got chess pieces at Grand Washington Hotel. You can farm for the tardigrade armor. It's an exotic chess piece where if anyone in your group loses their armor, you can go ahead and it instantly refills their armor, I think every minute. Grupo Sombro at District Union Arena. That's a really good day to farm Legendary on to get the best God rolled, uh, rolls on Grupo Sombro pieces. Now you can roll that with one piece DPS builds, two piece for skill explosives damage builds. You got submachine guns at Federal Triangle for the Lady Death and refarming the Chatterbox. If you haven't got the Chatterbox yet, you can have a group member drop it if they get it somehow. Or you can check out my quick, easy five minute guide on how to get it. I'll throw that in the card in the top right as well. Your set's at Jefferson Trade Center. This also has a chance to drop the Coyote's Mask from Coyote, the boss, at the end. And you can get all gear sets except for System Corruption, which is DZ exclusive. And then, of course, the Foundry Bulwark and Future Initiative chest and backpack pieces, which are still raid exclusives for right now. Sokolo Concern in East Mall. You got four control points to farm here. You want to replace Providence Defense with Sokolo Concern if you're running an SMG build. And then Araldo Holdings is great with the perfect Headhunter talent chest piece you can get from Jefferson Plaza, the Chain Killer. And then Hana Yu at Space Admin for a Force Multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms. And remember that red mod slot it always drops with is going to be generic in TU11. And also, you want to roll it with skill haste and skill damage usually. Alright agents, let's go ahead and check out what we got in New York City Target loot before I let you guys go. I'll probably drop a few thoughts and stuff on Summit actually at the end of the video. Alright agents, we're over here in New York City targeted loot. We got knee pads at the tomb. So that's Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads with 25% bonus armor when you do cover to cover or vault. And it reloads your weapon, which you can do in the PTS right now using the backfire. It's actually pretty fun. You skip the bleed altogether. You can also get the Fox's pair knee pads and Sawyer's knee pads. Providence Defense at Stranded Tanker. You get a chance to get the Imperial Dynasty to drop from Vivian Connolly. And you can get the Sacrifice with Perfect Glass Cannon or just better rolls for your DPS build. Walker Harrison Co. again, but a Pathway Park if you don't want to go in DC. And then Holsters at Wall Street. You get a chance for Bullet King to drop from the boss at the end. And you can also get the Imperial Dynasty and the Forge Holster which gives you 50% extra shield health, which adds a whole new skill tier to your shield. And then Wyvern Wear for that 10% skill damage. Otherwise, that's about all I see in New York City today, agents. 
All right, agents. Well, that was the target of loot for today. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed my content and click the join button below to further support my dream of being a full-time content creator and check out the Discord and clan in the pinned comment below. Otherwise, I would say Summit. I'm actually really enjoying running on Heroic and Legendary. That's where the fun really begins. So if you kind of start at floor, I think it's 60 or 70 all the way up to 100, you can run that solo or in group and it's tons of fun actually. Me and Gamey Daddy were doing a live stream on it the past few days and we were having a lot of fun and he made a video I would personally go check out if I were you. He explains it a lot better. But overall, I think Summit's gonna be great. It's missing all that narrative content from the PTS because they took it out on purpose. That was data mined from the previous PTS. I think it's just the bare bones of Summit and we're gonna see a lot more. So I would still hold up a little bit of hopes for Summit and I don't think it's just gonna be this boring, unreplayable content. And I think the developers will do good by us. So I, I'm hoping for the best. All right, agents, take care. Subscribe and like if you enjoy the content and I will see you in my next daily targeted loop video, builds, discussions, and everything else, Division 2. Take care, agents.